so the Spanish I, I grew up with was from Mexico and, and like I had lived in Mexico for a little bit and and though I always felt like my own Spanish that as I sort of relearned it in my teenage years like it, it wasn't it, it became its own accent it didn't really stay with the Mexican accent because Mexican Spanish tends to extend their vowels at the end um, I don't know what the great example of that is but I remember being called out in a, in my Spanish class at BYU and saying, "Oh yeah, you're 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 from Mexico or you have Mexican heritage, so you extend your vowels." And I'm like, "No, I don't." But okay. <laughs> but in Spain, um, a big difference is always the the Z, uh, which is known as the theta. So in in Spanish, in Mexican in Mexico Spanish, you would just the Z just sounds like an S. It's just so it's there's no change there so c h c i and z all go shh just so like if you're saying civilization it'd be civilization just all the the s sounds very harsh but then in spain and in, in um in castellano how it's supposed to be said in, in spanish it's um civilization would be civilization so it's it's very some people try to like poke fun of it as sort of like a lisp but then it, it makes it a lot easier to write because then you know where a z or a ci or a ce is supposed to go <laughs> then because in you know spanish in mexico you don't know where any of that goes you just have to sort of memorize it so it helps grammatically in writing and things like that um another big example when you say um heart or corazón it would just be like that in, in Mexican Spanish, but then in Spain it'd be corazón. So, and it was one thing that was interesting about that was when I would sing hymns, if I if I just sang them regular, like in my like my own Spanish, like um, I would stand out <laughs> while everyone else is very soft with what they're saying. So whenever I would speak, I would just speak. Um, I wouldn't do the theta or anything like that. Um, just cause I wasn't used to it and I didn't want to have to sort of force myself into doing it. Um, but when I would sing hymns, I would, and it was a lot easier because I could see it in the page. I'm like, Oh, so here, here's where the letters come up or that way. So now I have to make that TH sound and, and sing with it and it's fine. And I think I still do sing my Spanish hymns with, with a theta, <laughs> just because it sounds smoother sometimes. So that I think that's like the biggest difference. Um, other than that, um, I did notice companions as they were learning, they would make some some of their sounds a lot harder. Like a uh, like the J, a J is supposed to be very like in Spain. I think it it is a lot harsher, but sometimes they would exaggerate it a bit. So like in Gijón. Uh, they would be like, Gijón, like, they would like sort of guttle the sound a little bit. And I would notice that some Span like people from Spain would do that a little bit too. But yeah, my, my Spanish is still unique to me. <laughs> but it was always nice to hear the compliment. They're like, oh, your accent's great. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, I feel special since, <laughs> you know, I always felt that I had, like my accent wasn't all that great. But yeah. <laughs>